there fans welcome to another character update uh, as promised in our previous uh, project update we're gonna go ahead and dig into RC but before we do I'd like to wish Henry Cavill the, the actor who plays Superman in the uh, in the Warner Brothers movies happy birthday he's actually one of my favorite uh, actors and his portrayal of Superman is is really really good in my opinion so uh, wish him a happy birthday anyhow let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and go into RC now, as I've mentioned before, RC is actually one of my favorite, if not the favorite, uh, Transformers Prime character. As I've said before, it's it's kind of like a tie between her, Optimus, and Bumblebee, right? Uh, what I like about RC is how different she is from the original 80s uh, version. Um, not to take anything away from that version of RC, but I just I just think the level of fight in RC was taken up uh, a couple of notches, right? Uh, very strong, um, kick butt. Um, I, I mean, she holds her own and she's not, she's not afraid of anybody. So um, she's a really good character. I really enjoyed watching her. I enjoyed all of the flips and tricks and stuff that she did on scene um, whenever she would transform into her bike, transform into a robot, and, and the way that she utilized it. I mean, they all did. But there was some, I don't know, some extra quality when it came to her. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into her bio and see what it says. Bio says, RC is incredibly skilled in combat and doesn't hesitate to show off her skills in order to protect her friends and family. Promoted to Lieutenant by Ultra Magnus, RC is committed to keeping Cybertron safe against any villains that may threaten it. One of the things that's really interesting about RC is uh, how she grew in character development in the series. Uh, you know, more so when it comes to her interactions with, let's say, the human character, specifically with Jack, since that was who she was paired off with. At, at the very beginning, she didn't seem to want to deal with him. Uh, obviously, as the series progressed, we got to understand why she was afraid to lose another another partner. She had already lost um, Tailgate, and uh, obviously, we saw Cliff Jumper uh, at the very beginning on the very first episode of Transformers Prime. So we understand where she's coming from. We kind of feel for her, but at the same token, Jack wasn't involved in any of that stuff, and um, and we got we kind of see how the partnership between the two develops, right? She actually ends up seeing him as, as family um, and her bond with him is, in, is inseparable, right? Uh, and each of the Autobots with their human counterparts uh, was like that. The same could be said for Bumblebee and Raph and the same can be said for uh, Miko and Bulkhead and so on and so forth. Um, so I just thought it was really interesting to see their interactions and their connections and, and see how she actually grows to care for him. Uh, so much so that, uh, I mean, she doesn't really, uh, she goes off in a lone venture with him in Cybertron. She has this protective motherly vibe towards him sometimes, but at, at other times she kind of like, uh, you know, she knows that he can handle his own and they go off on adventures together. So it's pretty interesting. Now, here's the interesting part. In our film, we went ahead and given her a leadership role. As we read in the, um, uh, in the bio, she has been given the official rank of of Lieutenant. Why is that? Well, Ultra Magnus uh, is now in charge. So spoiler, if you haven't seen Predacons Rising, which by now you should have because it's been years, um, but Optimus Prime sacrifices himself to save Cybertron. Uh, in doing so, he kind of leaves everybody off to kind of find their own way as far as leadership goes. Um, he, he says the lineage of Primes is over. So, um, you know, you know, naturally, there needs to be a leader to step into his place. Now, without the power of the Matrix, Ultra Magnus can't fill his shoes. I don't think Ultra Magnus could fill his shoes even with the power of the Matrix, but we really don't know how that would work in the Prime Universe. Um, uh, he would probably struggle um, because he's not Prime, right? But uh, nonetheless, um, Without the power of the Matrix, he's unable to fulfill those shoes. He's unable to carry all of the, the, the weight that comes with that leadership role. And obviously the presence that Optimus Prime had. So he knows that he needs help. And what does he do? He promotes uh, RC to lieutenant because RC technically was kind of like second in command in the first two seasons before Ultra Magnus arrived. And so 
um, based on her skills, based on her leadership, based on her knowledge, based on her experience, based on all these different attributes, Ultra Magnus recognizes it and makes her a lieutenant. Now, what what even though she has all those great attributes, we've seen where she'll lose her her head, so to speak, emotionally whenever whenever it came to Arachnid. It's like her emotions took over from the hurt and the pain that Arachnid caused her, and she would just go out on her own. Um, she actually had that encounter with Starscream. Uh, he got under her skin, so to speak, and um, and she she took off the shackles and and you know even though he's a much bigger bot um she wasn't afraid of him she stood her ground and and she kind of lost that fight um but you know it made her do something illogical right why would you take off the cuffs to a a a villain uh, a dangerous one at that right so those emotions have hurt her in the past however ultra magnus i don't think has seen that or maybe he's working with her behind the scenes to uh, build her up and show her, hey, you can't get that emotionally involved. You've got to remain logical. You've got to remain clear, uh, clear thought and level headed, right? The other aspect is the lieutenant side of Bumblebee. We'll get into his character bio probably in the next one, but he was also given the rank of lieutenant. And then obviously we've gone through Springer's bio where he used to be the lieutenant of the Wreckers. And so when he comes back down to earth, he picks up where he left off because of that connection uh, with Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnus knows that Springer is very reliable. So Ultra Magnus has put in place three lieutenants uh, to help him, uh, uh, to help him lead the team, right? And, and I think RC is, is a prime choice to be lieutenant. Uh, she's We're going to see her in action we're going to see her leading where she needs to lead we're going to see her kicking butt uh, against the the combaticons and the uh, destructicons and then we're also going to see her continue to grow that's that's one of the important things a lot of these characters are going to have a lot of growth to them and rc is definitely one of those characters where her growth takes her beyond this film and into the trilogy we'll see interactions with new cast members old cast members will see interactions where she's just uh we'll see a different side of rc that we haven't seen before um nothing that's going to be alien to her character but we're going to definitely see her develop and grow and mature in in various aspects so guys that's pretty much all i have for rc uh thank you guys again just to give you guys a quick update uh, this weekend we'll be releasing our uh, update, uh, our project update on our accomplishments for the month of April. So make sure you tune in, you tune in this weekend. Uh, hit the like and the subscribe so you can get notification to all the videos. I know I owe you guys some um, action figure reviews. Those are coming up pretty soon, more than likely after the project update. But uh, until next time, guys, continue to share these videos. Continue to spread the word. We still got a lot of people out there that don't really know about this. I think right now we've only got 22 uh, subscribers to this channel. I definitely want to see that grow because, I mean, if you love Transformers, and if, specifically if you love Transformers Prime, I think you're going to love the project that we're doing, including the sequel trilogies uh, or the sequel into the trilogy uh, as we have planned. So, guys, thanks once again. Take care. Peace out.